Let us all give our dashing global bench setter a warm welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Thuong Sa. And if you can look to the left, let's start by looking at the left. Yeah. Welcome. Hi. Hello. It's so nice to finally meet you. Would you like to start by saying hello to our friends from the media? They've been so excited to meet you. Uh, yeah. 안녕하세요. 까무스탄가 아코시 안녕하세요. 반갑습니다. Love it, love it. Please take a seat. Yes, I want you to get comfortable because. You know, our media friends have a lot of questions for you, but before I hand you over to the media, I just wanted to do a quick chit chat. Is that okay? You ready? Yeah. All right. Okay, so first of all, welcome to the Philippines. This is your first time to visit the country. Is that correct? The tour was good. Oh, 굉장히 지금 설레는 마음으로. 네, 오늘 오늘 아침 도착했습니다. 네. It's actually my first time to come here in the Philippines, and I'm really excited because I just arrived this morning. That's right. Um, so it hasn't been that long, but I hope you're having a fantastic time anyway. Um, needless to say, your Filipino fans have been eagerly waiting to meet you and for you to visit the country. And I'm sure that you can't wait to experience what this beautiful country has to offer as well. How does it feel to finally be here? Oh, 일단 한 3, 4년 동안 한국에서 촬영만 하면서 지내면서 굉장히 팬분들도 만나고 싶었고, 그게 많은 나라도 돌아다니고 싶었는데. 어 이번 기회에 이렇게 못 보게 돼가지고 굉장히 설레고요, 굉장히 어, 기대가 많이 됩니다. Actually, the past few years I've been very busy due to different shoots for different projects. So there were a lot of things that I really wanted to do, really wanted to try. But through this opportunity, I'm really happy that I got to visit the Philippines as well. Well, we're thrilled you're finally here, um, and also you know excited to hear what other projects are coming our way. But let's talk about your your fan meeting, your tour, right? Um, what was the inspiration behind your fan meeting tour in Asia, and how did the concept of a fan meeting tour come about? 어 일단 팬 미팅의 컨셉 자체를 제가 다 최애를 들어가서 몰랐는데요. So actually, uh, I really took time to think about the concept of our fan meeting. 어 그래서 나온 결론이 이제 here and now라는 어 here and now라는 주제였어요. So the main concept, or the title of our family, became here and now. Uh, 무슨 말이냐면 지금 여기 저희가 행복을 누릴 수 있는 순간은 지금 여기 이 순간밖에 없으니 지금. But through this family, I was able to really uh, see clearly with my eyes that the great filled love, a uh, heart filled, a uh, love filled heart of our fans from the different countries, and I really felt it. 네 그리고 어 드디어 이제 필리핀 오게 됐고. Finally, I was able to come to the Philippines, and I want to make sure to have a great time here as well. The 다음은 이제 일본입니다. 일본을 마무리를 해서 아마 아시아 투어가 끝날 것 같습니다. And my next stop will be in Japan, and that will be the concluding tour stop for me. Okay, we're booking our flights right now. All right. Um, let's talk about your show a little bit. What can your Filipino fans expect? From the show tomorrow, it's it's tomorrow already. Can you give us a little sneak peek, maybe, of what's going to happen? 사실 이미 SNS 돈 영상들을 보시면 아시는 분들 있겠지만, I'm pretty sure through the social media, a lot of you watch different videos about my fan meet. 어 노래도 하고요, 춤도 추고요. I get to sing and dance. 그리고 제일 중요한 거는 얼굴 보고 얘기하는 거겠죠. And the most important moment for me is to be able to see my fans face to face and to talk to them. You're so talented. I'm so excited for the show. And then, of course, you modeled with Bench. Let's talk about that collaboration. Um, what's it like being part of the brand's global Bench setters? 일단은 어, 굉장히 역사 깊은 어, 브랜드와 함께 한다는 것 자체가 굉장히 영광이었고요. First of all, it was a great honor for me to be a Bench. Uh, a trend center for a very history deep uh, brand with such deep history. 그리고 저 또한 보통 캐주얼한 의상을 굉장히 즐겨했고 그러는 제 취향과 비슷했기 때문에 더 시너지가 나지 않았을까 싶긴 합니다. And the different outfits that I was able to try through this project is really matching my also my preferences. So I think it may be have a great chemistry with this brand too. Let's talk about that a little bit because I am curious. Are you 
really into fashion? Do you like getting dressed up? And what are your favorite pieces when you're getting dressed? 어 uh, 보통은 저는 편한 옷들을 좋아하는 편인 것 같아요. I usually like to wear comfortable clothes. 그렇기 때문에 실제로 벤츠 옷도 집에서 많이 입고 밖에 나갈 때 툭툭 걸치고 나올 수 있는 옷들을 많이 입는 편인 것 같습니다. So that is why in my everyday life I wear bench clothing at home and sometimes when I get, get go out I wear bench pieces too. 그 무엇보다 제일 편안해 보이는 룩이 제가 편안한 룩이 사람들이 봤을 때도 편안하다고 생각하기 때문에 And of course I also think that something that I wear should be comfortable for me for the people that see me to feel the comfort too. 네, 그렇기 때문에 굉장히 예뻐하고 있습니다. That's why I love wearing bench too. Well, we love you in bench. You look great today. Um, were there any particular pieces that you really liked from bench during your photo shoot? 지금 기억나는 거는 야구 점퍼, 파란색 야구 점퍼가 있었거든요. Uh, during our shoot, we had this very comfortable baseball jacket. 네, 그게 어 되게 네, 마음에 들었어가지고 기억에 남고요. I really liked that clothing, so I really remember it. 그리고 벤치가 굉장히 어, 티셔츠의 종류가 다양한 것 같아요. And I think that there are a lot of various designs in T-shirts and bench. 그래서 개인의 취향에 따라 정말 어, 이렇게 스타일링할 수 있는 옵션들이 굉장히 많은 것 같습니다. And I think that allows me to style different ways according to my personal preferences. I can see how you are a perfect fit with bench. And that brings us to the end of our chit chat. I'm going to turn things over now to our friends from the media. Let's start with Poch Yulalia, who is from Manila Bulletin. Hi, Poch. Hello there. <laughs> okay, so for this one, I just wanted to start by asking you've been in lots of great K dramas lately, so I just wanted us to know could you walk us through the process in preparing for your role? Like, uh, especially if it's challenging. Are there any special ways that you get into character? That's a good question. I think when I first met the character, I wanted to learn the history of that person from the beginning to the end. Whenever I try a new role, I first try to think of the history of the character beginning from his past up to the present. 그래서 지금에 있는 인물이 어떻게 이런 인물로 됐을지에 대해서 구체적으로 좀 어, 계산을 해보, 해보는 편인 것 같아요. I also try to use this as an opportunity to calculate how this person came to be to have this character at the present. 그러다 보면은 말하는 습관도 생기고요. 그리고 걷는 방식도 달라지고요. 사람을 보는 눈빛도 달라지는 것 같아요. And I think this allows me to really uh, apply the different ways I walk. It changes the way I walk, changes the way I look at people, being into the character. 그런 식으로 준비하고 그 다음에 그 준비가 됐을 때 이제 외적인 부분을 같이 감독님과 고민을 하는 것 같습니다. 죄송 다시 한번 말씀해 주세요. 그런 준비가 됐을 때그 다음에 이제 외적인 이제 스타일링에 대한 고민을 많이 합니다. And after getting into the character, I try to think about the physical appearance of how this character would look like. 네, 이 부분은 감독님과 뭐 분장팀과 굉장히 많이 상, 굉장히 많은 상의 끝에 어, 나오는 거라고 생각합니다. And I think this is possible through the help of the director and the different makeup team and the other staff too. Okay, very meticulous process, and it takes a village. Thank you so much for your question, Watch. We're moving on to Tyra Sanchez. Tyra is from Mega Magazine. Hi, Tyra. Hi. Hi, Paul. How are you? Where, where are you, sir? Here. Uh, hi. Hi. Um, we were curious, what are roles that you haven't taken on yet and wish to take on in the future? I don't think I've ever done a lot of work yet, so I can't do that. Actually, there are a lot of roles that I haven't been able to try yet, so I can't say specifically which one I want to try. 그런 건 있는 것 같아요. 어 지금 제 나이에서 할수 있는 역할을 최대한 해보자. But I think I have the thought that I want to try roles that suit my current age. 그래서 이제 뭐 학생은 네못할것 같고요. So I think student roles are not for me anymore. 
어, 아마 나이가 좀더 들면은 그 액션이나 혹은 장르물 같은 것도 도전해 보고 싶을 것 같습니다. And if we see that I get I get older, I can try action roles too or other genres too. 어쨌든 모든 역할을 다 해보고 싶습니다. 어떤 장르든 간에. But of course, no, uh, regardless of the genre, I want to try any role. I don't know. I think you could still pass as a student. That's just me. Yeah? Okay. Um, our next question comes from Mary Hazel Ruffalo, who is from the Annyeong Opa. Hi. Um, your drama business proposal received a widespread acclaim. What drew you to this particular role and what challenges did you face while portraying him? I was in the first place when I was in When I first received the script, I sat down and at that moment I read the whole script right away. And in the first place, 정말 세상에 있는 고민이 잠깐이나마 사라진 느낌을 받았거든요. And I got to feel while reading the script that I was really into the story. 아 이런 정말 어, 고민한 점 없는 행복한 얘기를 많은 분들이 봐주셨으면 좋겠다. 많은 분들이 이걸 보면서 잠깐이나마 고민들을 내려놓고 그냥 즐기셨으면 좋겠다는 생각을 했던 것 같아요. And it made me think that I hope the people through this project will be able to feel the happiness inside the project and also forget about the different worries that they're going through in life. Well, when we really began with the shoot, a difficulty that I went through is my character should be very be very proud, you should have high pride, arrogant. 네, 그렇기 때문에 뭔가 어, 잘난 척하고 본인이 잘난 거 알고 그거를 사람들한테 이렇게 표출하는 그런 모습들이 처음에는 제가 연기하기 굉장히 어색했던 것 같습니다. So the character itself should be very arrogant, I have to boast about myself, so this wasn't very easy for me. 네, 이제 어, 시간이 지나면서 자연스럽게 강태모가 됐던 것 같아요. But as time passed by, I think it naturally came to me and I was able to do it. Well, I think you did a fantastic job playing that role. Thank you for your question. We're moving on to Princess Poblete. Princess is from you.com. Hi, Princess. Hey, 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. Can you share with us some insights on your experience working with your latest project, A Time Called You? Uh, time Called You is 굉장히 머리가 아픈 작품이었어요. A time called you really gave me a headache. 왜 그러냐면 어, 실제로 제가 10대, 20대, 30대, 40대를 왔다 갔다 하면서 촬영을 해야 됐었거든요. Because I had to go back and forth in my age, in my age range of the 10s, 20s, my 30s, into my 40s. 그렇기 때문에 어, 저만의 타임라인이 머릿속에 뚜렷하게 없으면 굉장히 헷갈려지는 지점들이 많았어요. So if I won't be able to make a clear or specific timeline about myself in my head, I myself would be confused about what I'm doing. 저뿐만이 아니라 전자미 씨도 그렇고 이 타임 슬립을 하는 인물들이 너무 복잡하게 얽혀 있어서 어, 감독님과 배우분들과 계속 복습 이렇게 공부를 하면서 집에 찍었던 것 같습니다. Also, not only for me, but for also the other cast members, they had to do the same process of going through the time slips. So I think there were a lot of times with me, together with the directors and the other cast members, there were times that we would review or study about what we were going to do. So from time to time when I'm doing a scene, I get to think for myself, oh, why am I like this? Why am I doing this? So I would go back to my room, try to review again why I am like that. That makes us appreciate the show even more. A Time Called View is streaming currently on Netflix, everyone. If you haven't seen it yet, thank you for that answer. All right, moving on to Jolette Esquerra from Metronaut Style. Hi, Jolette. Hello. Hi. 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 Hi
Hello. So, uh, among all the characters that you've played, which one are you most similar to, and why? 제가 만났던 역할들은 다 저의 모습이 조금씩 들어 들어가 있다고 생각하는데요. I can see that the different roles that I've tried shows a different part of who I am. 근데 그래도 뽑자면 아무래도 못 만났고 김사도에서 소진 아닐까 싶습니다. I think if I would be specific, it would be my role as 소진. 실제로 제가 처음 소진이라는 역할을 만났을 때 우진이처럼 인간 아니셨고 생각보다 그리 세상에 대한 희망이 많지 않고 좀 부정적이었고 시니컬한 어떤 부분들이 있었어요. Because when I first was introduced to the character Sojin, I noticed that the cast, so the character itself, was very negative, pessimist, doesn't have high hopes about the world. 그렇게 우진이를 만나서 우진이를 우진이가 돌담 병원을 만난 것처럼 저도 낭만 닥터 김사부의 스태프분들을 만나고 선배님들을 만나면서 우진이와 같이 성장을 할수 있었다는 느낌을 굉장히 많이 받았어요. But from Ujin, who was like that, when he was able to meet romantic doctor, he was able to receive the change just like that. I feel that through my process of meeting the different staff while shooting romantic doctor itself, it also allowed to uh, myself to grow. 그래서 실제로 작품이 끝났을 때 어, 저의 모습이 굉장히 긍정적이고 훨씬 더 어, 뭐랄까요? 세상에 좋은 면모를 보일 수 있는 사람이 됐다는 걸 제가 느꼈거든요. And also in reality, after our shoot, after this project, it changed me to become a more optimistic person, to be able to see the world in a beautiful perspective too. 그렇기 때문에 굉장히 고맙기도 하고 어, 제 애정이 가는 역할이 아니었나 싶습니다. That's why I'm very thankful for this project too, and also this is one of the projects that I really take dear in my heart. Thank you very much for that thoughtful answer. All right, moving on to Kate Sarmiento. Kate is from Kate Loka. Hi. Hello there. Hi. Hi. Um, um, as an actor, what is your favorite genre to work on? Whenever I piece, uh, whenever I choose a new project or a new piece, I think, regardless of the genre, I think and try to feel if this project itself pulls me in. 그렇기 때문에 내가 지금 맡고 있는 이 작품이 저한테는 그 순간만큼은 제일 좋아하는 장르가 되는 것 같습니다. That's why I think that whatever project that I'm working on right now, I can see that this would be my favorite genre at the moment. 근데 그 비즈니스 프로포즈 해보니까 그 로맨틱 코미디도 굉장히 재밌는 것 같아요. But I think the romantic comedy show through business proposal was very fun too. 그래서 언젠간 다시 한번 로맨틱 코미디를 꼭 해보고 싶은 생각은 드네요, 갑자기. And right now I think that I would love to try another romantic comedy project. So we'd love to see you in another romantic comedy, and I think everyone agrees. Okay, looking forward to that. Next up, we have Nico Tuason from Pep.ph. Hi, Nico. Welcome to the Philippines. My question is, your fan base extends globally. How do you feel about the reception, international reception of your work? First, I think that you can see this world in the world in the world. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy to be here. First of all, I'm really thankful that I'm in a generation where K contents can be distributed worldwide. 그리고 사실 어, 각 나라마다의 문화를 이렇게 어, 작품으로서 표현할 수 있다는 게 그리고 그걸 서로 공유할 수 있다는 게 굉장히 감사한 일인 것 같아요. And I think it's a very thankful thing to see that we are able to express the different cultures and the different practices of the different countries through different content. 
팬분들이 주신 이 사랑이 굉장히 신기하기도 하고요. 어, 뭔가 어떨떨하기도 하고 되게 감사한 마음이 제일 크죠, 사실. That's why the love that I receive from my fans, of course, is very amazing for me. And also, I really don't know how to feel about this, but I'm really thankful to all of the love. Uh, 이런 반응들을 보면서 아, 더 많이 열심히 일해서 더 행복한 작품들을 보여드려야지 라는 생각을 하는 것 같아요. But one thing for sure is, while seeing this, it makes me realize that I have to do more projects, happier projects, so that I can be able to also share this happiness to a lot of more people. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Nico. Thank you for that answer. Moving on to Marita Surias, who's from Philippine Tower. Hi. 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 I always think that I'm lacking. I have a lot of shortcomings. But one thing I can promise as an actor is that I will acknowledge this shortcoming of mine and also use this as a motivation to not stay contented but to try my best always. And I think being an actor itself gives you a life of continuous learning where you have to continuously learn something, continuously absorb something. 네, 그렇기 때문에 어, 배우로서 내가 어떤 사람인지라기보다 계속해서 나아가는 사람이지 않을까라는 생각이 듭니다. But I can say that me as an actor, as a person living the life of an actor, I will make sure to continuously move forward. Just for the record, we're very satisfied with your acting. Okay. Um, our next question comes from Kaila Viliana, who is from the Wonder Mag PH. Hi. Hello, I'm Anasayo. Anasayo. So I'm sure everyone here can agree that you're a very well-rounded and versatile actor. So we were wondering, is there anything new that you would like to try in your career? When you're talking about trying something new, is it as an actor or as a project? Or as me, personally, as Annie Hoseok? I believe you as Annie Hoseok uh, would give you more liberty to, to answer this. Oh, 일단은... <laughs> 네, 있습니다. 새롭게 시도하고 싶은 게 있고 제가 어렸을 때부터 어, 음악을 굉장히 좋아했어요. Well, there is something I want to try. Ever since I was young, I really love music. 그 저는 예술이라는 게 어, 연기로서 표출이 되는 방법이 있고 또 이제 노래나 음악적인 부분으로 저의 감정들이 표출이 되는 부분이 있다고 생각을 해요. If you were to talk about art, I think there are a lot of different ways to express art. Let's say, for example, through my acting or through music too. Uh, 그렇기 때문에 uh, 뭔가 음악적으로 제가 생각하고 있는 것들, 느끼고 있는 것들을 그 좋은 어떤 메시지들을 많은 분들과 공유하고 싶은 생각이 있습니다. That's why I also have the heart to think of being able to express my positive thoughts, my positive energy to other people. 
by musically expressing it. 구체적인 계획은 없지만 분명히 언젠가는 할 거라고 생각합니다. Well, I do not have a specific plan, but I'm sure it's going to come someday. Wow. All right, we're looking forward to that. Thank you so much. <laughs> I second the motion. My goodness. All right, LJ Reyes. Our next question comes from Hanyu Life. Hi, LJ. Hello. Uh, 안녕하세요. Um, with the success of your drums that you start in and all the love and support that your fans have been giving you, what keeps you grounded? I think myself, I myself allows me to be humble. This is actually very similar to what I said in the previous question. I noticed that all of my efforts, whatever I do, I wasn't satisfied, it looked very short. So seeing myself incomplete and imperfect. I think this allows me to realize that I cannot be perfect in this type of thing, so it allows me to continue to be humble. 그렇기 때문에 계속해서 배우고 싶은 마음이 생기는 거야. And I think this also gives me the heart to continuously learn. Your humility makes us adore you even more. The band. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Gia Aliana, where are you, Gia? Gia is from K Blogger. Hi. We're gonna hand you a microphone so that you can ask your question. Hello. Um, so my question is, what brings so much joy to a person like Aniyasa? Uh, what brings joy, okay, to a guy like you? 제가 이번에 태미 팀을 돌면서 느꼈던 게 While going through my different fan meets, I felt something. 그 팬분들의 얼, 밝은 환한 얼굴을 보면서 아. Maybe 내가 지금 꽤 괜찮은 일을 하고 있구나라는 생각이 들었어요. While I was able to see my fans and their faces in comfort and happiness, it made me think, maybe I'm doing something good right now. 그 얼굴을 보고 있는 그 사람들과 제가 받는 사랑 그리고 제가 주고 싶은 사랑 이게 맞다는 순간이 어 정말 표현할 수 없을 정도로 행복한 순간인 것 같아요. I think the moment that the love our fans gave to me through their happy and comfortable faces and the love that I would love to give to them when these two different loves touched together and connected I cannot express how happy I was through this. It's not just me receiving the love. But being able to form this love where it is done together, I think we can say it was very harmonious. And I think that allows me to say that love keeps me happy. What a moment. Super special. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. And thank you for that question, Gia. That brings us to our last question for today, which is coming from Nikki Viola from When in Manila. Hello, uh, welcome to the Philippines. Yes. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I'm here. Hello. So, uh, for you, what is the most rewarding thing as an actor? That's a very general question, so it's very hard to answer right away. 그런 그런 점은 있어요. 어 나중에 이렇게 메시지가 따로 오거나 회사에 메일이 와요. 
But sometimes I receive messages or I receive mail in my office. 팬분들이 저의 작품을 보면서 어, 다시 살아갈 희망을 얻었다라는 글을 볼 때가 있어요. Sometimes I receive messages from fans saying that through me, the love, the ability to be able to love sparked again inside them. 정말 한 명이라도 제가 인생을 인생에 영향을 줄수 있다는 건 너무 감사한 일인데. The truth that I'm able to influence even just one person is something that I'm really grateful of. 굉장히 많은 분들한테 어, 좋은 에너지가 되고 좋은 자극제가 된다는 게 저한테는 너무나 큰 의미였어요. So for me, being able to be the source of happiness or love to a lot of people and being also a stimulant for them is really heartwarming for me. 그리고 그걸 통해서 저 